Now, this is an incredible as well as very controversial story. And it all started with a photographer who met a Tulsa doctor in Africa. Now, that doctor claimed to have a cure for AIDS. In fact, the national media have covered parts of this story over the years. But we've uncovered evidence and interviews never seen before. Tonight, Fox 23's Janet Clark with an exclusive and eye-opening report. A picture of a broken down schoolhouse, one of a mother hoping she'll be able to feed her twin babies. A professional photographer from Tulsa, Doug Henderson, has traveled the world and seen so many stories. But he's kept the story behind one of his photographs to himself until now. It's the story about what's inside this vial. But the content of the vial is, is what makes it valuable. When a friend asked him to travel to Africa to take some photographs, he didn't think it was a big deal. We had no idea of what we were stepping off into at this point. But when Doug got there, what he saw, that turned out to be a very big deal. In 2004, Doug flew to Africa to the Ivory Coast, where he met a man from Tulsa, a man who made an enormous claim. He said, I have what I believe to be the cure for AIDS. That struck a chord with Doug. He'd watched his brother-in-law slowly slip away from the virus. He was only 44. Well, that's a miserable way to die. So when this Tulsa doctor said he had a cure for AIDS, Doug was willing to hear what he had to say. It's dependent upon the severity of the illness based upon what's known as a viral load and the stage of the illness. The doctor was Gary Davis, a family practitioner who'd graduated from Dartmouth Medical School and who'd been a captain in the U.S. Navy. In 2007, Dr. Davis died with an impressive resume. But when Doug first met the doctor in 2004, he thought, surely a man with these credentials wouldn't joke about having a cure for AIDS. But Doug says he was skeptical, to say the least. I'm less concerned with what people say or what people claim. I'd, I'd like to see the evidence. Doug says Dr. Davis told him dozens of his patients and even close friends had died from AIDS. And then he told Doug a bizarre story about how he came up with the idea for his so-called cure. The way he tells the story, that night he had a dream. He had a dream. He doesn't call it a vision, he calls it a dream. And in this dream, he was injecting a goat with the HIV virus. And he understood from this dream that he would be able to develop uh, antibodies, a serum from goat blood. A cure for AIDS from a goat. Doug was even more skeptical. But as Dr. Davis told how he developed the serum, Doug says it did sound logical. This is a biological substance that is uh, produced after a goat has been immunized with the AIDS virus and then this specialized chemical that kills the AIDS virus is extracted out of the bloodstream. Dr. Davis told Doug he first tested his theory in a lab at Tuskegee University in Alabama in 1996. He injected goats with AIDS, and instead of getting sick, they developed antibodies against the virus. I have been with the doctor for a year and a half. Dr. Davis's assistant, Linda Wilmez, says the idea isn't as crazy as it sounds. It's no different than the serum that a horse can make if you've been bit by a snake. In 2002, Linda went to Africa to help Dr. Davis in the Ivory Coast. And when she sat down with me, it was the first time she had ever told her story. What I saw, what I experienced for the two years we were there, will last me my whole life. Linda says she and Dr. Davis first met two men who both had AIDS. These two gentlemen were very, very ill. As part of their first clinical trial with the government's approval, Linda says Dr. Davis injected both men with his goat serum. And once we started giving them the injections, um, everything changed for them. Um, they got their energy back. She says the patients went back to work, and she and Dr. Davis were thrilled. And there are no side effects. Thus far, we've had no side effects. And in most cases, if something sounds too good to be true, it usually is. However, I was there, and I totally witnessed this, and it is very, very real. Linda says the government then gave them the go-ahead for a larger clinical trial with 19 AIDS patients. And again, she says she witnessed the same results. Literally, after the first injection, they started feeling strength and energy within a matter of 20 to 30 minutes. Most of them were actually strong enough within 72 hours to return to their jobs. She remembers one woman who was too sick to walk into the clinic. 
they brought her in and, and literally she was on a stretcher and that's how sick she was and within 30 minutes of her first injection the strength came back and she actually walked out of the clinic. Linda says the serum wasn't just killing the virus, it was doing it quickly. It Doug was there when the lab results came back. And that was all just glowing and was considered to be, you know, just the, uh, the capping the thing off that, that really gave him the proof they needed. He says Dr. Davis and Linda were overjoyed. Linda wept. Uh, he said, I told you this is exactly how this was going to come out. He wasn't surprised at the least. The viral count had dropped to the point it was undetectable. I was shocked. I was amazed. I was in awe. At that point, Doug started visually documenting Dr. Davis's research. They flew to the next door country of Ghana, whose government paid for yet another clinical trial. Doug says two men and a husband and wife came into the clinic. Four people, all desperate, dealing with a virus they knew would kill them. Overall. They were obviously very, very sick. They exhausted all means of any, any help there, and they knew they basically had a, a long, slow slide to the end. In this never-before-seen footage, Dr. Davis introduced himself to the patients and told them what to expect. Until, until, two years has passed, not two days, two years have passed, with you being off of all medication, can we say this is a cure? Then Dr. Davis gave the patients two injections, one in each arm. It was a big needle and a lot, and, and it was obviously very painful. In very short order, felt and looked much better. When they came back the next day, they looked better, they walked better, they talked stronger. They were optimistic. Well, now I feel better than before I came here. Doug documented injections and reaction over the next several days. And you slept well? I slept very well. And you ate well? I ate very well. Exactly what he said would happen happened. And I pray that you will all continue to do just as well as you're doing now. And I know you will. That's great. <laughs> Doug says at that point, Ghana's president agreed to fund the project. We felt good about the whole thing. We kind of felt like our work was done. Doug flew back home to Tulsa, and that's when he heard about a little girl on the other side of the country who he says may be the best evidence that Dr. Davis's serum could be a cure. Coming up later, a mother who says she stole Dr. Davis's medicine for her six-year-old daughter with HIV. Don't miss the conclusion of our story later in the newscast.